From Launch Complex 39 at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, this is Shuttle Launch Control at T-minus three hours and holding for the launch of the last flight of the Space Shuttle Program and Space Shuttle Atlantis on STS-135. This is the 135th launch of the Space Shuttle Program, the 33rd launch of Space Shuttle Atlantis, its 12th to the International Space Station, and overall the 37th flight to the International Space Station by the Space Shuttle. This is currently planned as a 12-day mission that would have the landing at Kennedy Space Center occurring on July 20th. Atlantis launch director, air to ground one. Atlantis, go. Okay, Fergie, uh, we're starting to feel pretty good down here on the ground about this one today. So on behalf of the greatest team in the world, uh, good luck to you and your crew on the final flight of this true American icon. And so for the final time, Fergie, Doug, Sandy and Rex, Good luck, Godspeed, and have a little fun up there. Hey, thanks to you and your team, Mike. Until the very end, you all made it look easy. The shuttle's always going to be a reflection of what a great nation can do when it dares to be bold and commits to follow through. We're not ending the journey today, Mike. We're completing a chapter of a journey that will never end. You and the thousands of men and women who gave their hearts, souls, and their lives for the cause of exploration have rewritten history. Let's light this fire one more time, Mike, and witness this great nation at its best. The crew of Atlantis is ready for launch. Thank you, sir. here over on the right he's looking over pretty much directly at the camera what he's actually looking at is he's that was our last comm check with the OTC and you can see Rex after the first comm check is bringing his visor down and locking it with that bar firing chain is armed go for main engine start team on us 10 9 8 7 6 5 all three engines up and burning 2 one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. America will continue the dream. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete, Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its 8.5 minute ride to orbit, 4.5 million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Atlantis traveling almost 2,600 miles an hour, 21 miles in altitude, 24 miles downrange, standing by for solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. satellite system, now standing by for external tank separation. Atlantis off the tank. Commander Chris Ferguson will be maneuvering Atlantis now into an orientation to enable Sandy Magnus to capture digital still imagery of the external fuel tank as it drifts away. One is not required. Your preliminary home to TIG, 37 minutes.
Mission Control, Houston, out of all the traditions and history inside the Space Shuttle Flight Control Room, one of the more important ones to the team here are these roses that arrive uh, during every single mission. The Shelton family up near the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex has sent these roses to the team here in Mission Control during every single flight since STS-26. Good morning, Atlantis. A special good morning to you today, Fergie. Hey, good morning, Houston. And, uh to the great folks at the Kennedy Space Center who have cared for these vehicles for the last 30 years. A special good morning to you. Contact, docking confirmed. Capture confirmed at 10.07 a.m. Central Time. Houston, Station Atlantis, capture confirmed and we see free drift. Station Atlantis, Houston, Station Free Drift is confirmed. All right. <laughs> Come on, oh, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Uh, the uh, goal is to have everything out of Raffaello within the next uh, day or so. A good view inside logistics module as uh, the cargo transfer work continues in earnest uh, on uh, the shuttle Atlantis for its final landing next week. Is this a hoax? Are you really in space still? I don't know. We're going to have to do something for you. Here you go. There's a pose for you right there. This is Mission Control Houston. Spacewalk preparations continue in the equipment lock section of the Quest airlock. You see Mike Fossum slithering his way into the upper torso of his extravehicular mobility unit. The uh, orbit checks look good. Are you guys ready? AD-1, born ready. <laughs> nice looking spaceship you guys got here. Now clear of external stowage platform number two, headed down to Atlantis's payload bay, where the pump module will be secured on a truss support structure at the very back of the bay. Well, I'd like to thank the, uh, uh, there were a lot of teams that really all both uh, came together and today, and that's what made the difference. Hatch is closed. Thank you and your crew so much. Um, like I said, uh, it, it's you really left it in a good position. So on behalf of the Expedition 20 crew, the entire ISS program, we'd like to thank you, your crew, and the entire STS-135 team for leaving the station ready to go for the rest of the day. So thank you very much. It's our honor. All right. Atlanta Station, Mike on the Big Loop. Station is ready for a dock. Docking of a space shuttle from.
from the International Space Station to complete the 37th and final visit of a space shuttle to the International Outpost. Hey, thanks, uh, Ron, USOS lead, and uh, to the uh, station commander, Andre Borisenko. Uh, we appreciate your hospitality again. Hey, when, a great, uh, when a generation accomplishes a great thing, it's got a right to stand back and for just a moment admire and take pride in its work. From this unique vantage point, we can see a great thing has been accomplished. Farewell, ISS. Make us proud. Maneuver executed. Main gear touchdown. Hurley now deploying the drag chute. Ferguson rotating the nose gear down to the deck. Nose gear touchdown. Having fired the imagination of a generation. A ship like no other, its place in history secured. The space shuttle pulls into port for the last time. Our mission complete, Houston. After uh, serving the world for over 30 years, the space shuttle turned its place in history. And it's come to a final stop. We'll meet you on 5-3. We'll see you there, Butch. To all, like I always say, savor the moment, soaking in and know you are the best, the best in the world. Your work here has made America and the world a better place. It's been an unbelievable and amazing journey. From rapid flight to the entire NASA team, God bless you all and Godspeed. Uh, I just want to say uh, how proud I am of all of you. Congratulations to NASA. To all our international partners uh, and all of the personnel past and present who have spent countless hours and untold effort in making the space shuttle a, uh, and the International Space Station uh, a unique part of our history. Hey, thanks. Uh, you know, the space shuttle changed the way we uh, view the world and it's changed uh, the way we view our universe. Thank you, Columbia, Challenger, Discovery, Endeavor, and our ship Atlantis. Thank you for protecting us and bringing this program to such a fitting end. God bless all of you. God bless the United States of America. Thank you.